good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 11th pre-election Zoom campaign of Western Armenia and a parliamentary candidates on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia, sons of Western Armenia, Tatul Korbeyan. We strongly condemn the actions taking place in the Berzor Corridor and on the Armenian border, World Health Organization. Violation of ceasefire in Artsakh, Azerbaijani soldiers shot at workers in the park. May 19 is the day of commemoration of the victims of genocide committed against the Greeks. The exhibition of the new collection of the Shushi State Museum of Fine Arts was opened in Stepanagert. On May 18, 2023, the 11th Zoom meeting was held for the candidates for the December 2023 elections to the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. The topic of the meeting was Artsakh War and Western Armenia. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, presented Western Armenia's point of view on the current situation in Artsakh and emphasized that from the regional and legal point of view, Artsakh. He noted that since Western Armenia is under the responsibility of Armenia, they continue their struggle in the legal arena. Talking about the term cultural genocide, we cannot but refer to the destruction and impoverishment of the Armenian Christian culture in the occupied territories of Artsakh by the Baku government during the 44-day war and since November 9. This testifies to the policy of the Azerbaijani state to destroy the traces of the Armenian spiritual heritage. In addition, the Armenian culture is being Ahvanized. Churches and other monuments are being denied as Armenian and attributed to Ahvans. In order to record the state of Artsakh cultural heritage and its Changes, the monitoring of Artsakh's cultural heritage program was created in 2021. According to the platform, about 90 Armenian cultural monuments were destroyed in the territory that came under the control of the Baku government after the war. On March 29, 2021, a video was published showing Armenian churches being used for military purposes. Azerbaijani soldiers are living in the churches. During the filming, the soldiers were eating. Beds and other things were seen in the footage. In Shushi, the cultural center of Artsakh, the Surpamina Pergich Hazanchetos Church and Shushi was severely damaged during military operations. On October 8, the Azerbaijani army shelled the church twice. International Human Rights Watch considered this a possible war crime. After the capture of Shushi, its sanctity was desecrated. The Azerbaijani army wrote notes on the walls of the church. Months after the war, it became known that the Azerbaijani had restored the church and the dome of the church was removed. All this gives the government of Western Armenia an undeniable basis to claim systematic vandalism of Armenian cultural heritage and to demand international condemnation and prevention of these crimes in order to protect the cultural heritage of the indigenous people of Artsakh. Tatul Karpeyan, participant of the Artsakh War, national hero of the Republic of Armenia during the Artsakh Liberation War from September 1992 to May 1991, he was the general commander of self-defense of the Gedashen subregion. Tatul Karpeyan was born on April 21, 1965, in the village of Arek, Tallinn region of the Republic of Armenia. From 1972 to 1982, he studied and graduated from the secondary school of his native village. After finishing school, he served as a soldier in the Soviet Army. Karpeyan Karpeyan was a prominent leader of the Yas wing of the Artsakh movement, an organizer of mass marches and rallies, sit-ins and strikes, and pioneer of propaganda among students. In September 1990, Tatul traveled to Artsakh, where the situation continued to deteriorate. On April 30, 1990, on the day of the start of the military operation ring, Tatul Karpeyan captured 17 Soviet soldiers, an Azerbaijani escort and Soviet army colonel Mashkov, from whom he received the plan for the military operation ring jointly implemented by the Soviet Army and the Azerbaijani Special Purpose Mobile Unit. On April 30, 1991, he died during negotiations in Getashen. On the same day during the negotiations in Getashen, his deputy commander Artur Karapetyan and Horaj Danielian were killed together with him. After the deaths of the selfless Armenian sons, 14 Soviet military hostages were exchanged for 27 Armenian residents taken hostage by riot police. We strictly condemn the action taking place on the Berzo Road and on the border of the Republic of Armenia. The targeting of health workers is unacceptable. This was stated by representatives of the World Health Organization during a meeting of the Minister of Health. At a meeting with Health Minister Anahita Vanessian, the WHO delegation said it was ready to use all diplomatic levers to condemn such actions. In turn, Anahita Vanessian thanked WHO Regional Director Hans Kluge for her personal engagement in the solution of 
of the problem. During the meeting held ahead of the 76th World Health Assembly, issues related to deepening cooperation between Armenia and WHO were discussed. The government of Western Armenia condemns the actions of the authorities of Baku that ignore all the international humanitarian norms. We demand that international organizations fight these actions not only unacceptable but also impose sanctions against the authorities of Baku, thus preventing further widespread clashes and human casualties. The Baku authorities will bear full responsibility for any further retaliation. On May 19, Baku authorities violated the ceasefire by using small arms and grenade launchers. This was reported by the press service of the Artsakh Defense Army. The Azerbaijani armed forces opened fire in the northern, eastern and central directions of the line of contact. In the direction of Bertashem village of Martunia region, the Azerbaijani side opened fire on civilians. In the direction of Kashem field of Martakir district, RPG-17 grenade launcher was used. There were no casualties on the Armenian side. The command of the Russian peacekeeping contingent was informed of the ceasefire violation. As of 10 o'clock on May 19, the situation on the line of contact is relatively stable. The genocide of the Greeks of Pontus was the last part of the genocides committed against the indigenous peoples and Christians, which began in 1894 with the massacres of the Armenians by Abdul Hamid II and continued in the following years by the Committee of Union and Progress, resulting in the deaths of 1.5 million Armenians and about 300,000 Assyrians. The genocide of the Greeks in Asia Minor and Pontus was planned in advance by the young Turk authorities and carried out simultaneously with the genocide against Armenians. During the 1960 to 1923 genocide of the Pontus Greeks, more than 353,000 indigenous Pontus Greeks were massacred, and the tens of thousands of children and women were converted to Islam. Not only is there no mention of the genocide in the Turkish state, but hate speech and anti Christian policies continue to deepen and are used more frequently by political leaders. An exhibition of the new collection of the Shushi State Museum of Fine Arts opened in the Stepanaget Gallery. As Artsakh Press informs, 40 paintings were displayed at the exhibition opened on the occasion of the International Museum Day. Director of State Museum of Fine Arts in Shushi, Luis Negasparian, in a conversation with us, expressed confidence that the exhibition symbolizes the revival of the museum. The painful loss of Shushi instead of despair has spurred us to action and new steps. We are determined to solve the problems we face. It was hard to imagine starting over, but we banded together and took action. After the war, we managed to purchase 110 paintings, said Lucine Gasparian. Deputy Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sport, Lerni Kovanisian said, it is the duty of all of us to preserve and develop our cultural cultural identity in the current cruel struggle, the struggle for our vision, holistic Artsakh, not only in the military, political and economic, but also in cultural, educational field. The government of Western Armenia reminds Shushi has always been the culture center of Artsakh and has always been the focus of nomadic tribes deprived of their own culture. Nomadic tribes lacking their own culture have always appropriated and continue to appropriate the culture of the indigenous people. This is not the first case, but it will be the last. It is the indigenous people with their culture that gives birth to love, that creates a national ideology that gives eternity. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Zenet Kalcherunis Lamuzov Kuchosis Nabahekis Umanov Sarais Good job. 